Hello friends, welcome to lmsdaily.com. In today's episode, I am going to show you how you can have a face-to-face -face quiz in Moodle wherein all the students will be answering the questions at the same time. So for this specific task, we will be using the real-time quiz plugin as you can see on my screen. It is a very well-maintained and one of the most popular plugins in the Moodle plugins directory. So essentially what it does is that the student will create a real-time quiz in the Moodle course and add some specific questions to the quiz. All the students on their own devices will be able to access the quiz at the same time and then they need to answer the quiz and after answering the questions they will see the feedback as well as whether their answers are correct or not. So let us start and see how you can add this real-time quiz to your Moodle course. So here I am in my Moodle course and I am logged in as admin user for this course and I have the editing mode turned on. And let me scroll down to the bottom of this course and add the real-time quiz activity here. I already have this plugin installed so you need to first install this plugin on your Moodle site before you can use it. So let me click on this real-time quiz here. Now we need to give a name for this quiz activity. So let me give it as test real time quiz. And you can also provide some introduction text here. Under this real time quiz settings section, you need to set the default question time, which is configured as 30 seconds by default but you can also change it to let us say 10 seconds i will leave all the balance settings as it is and then let me just click on save and display so now we are into the real time quiz and as of now there are no questions added to this quiz so let us first add some questions I will just keep it simple as first question. So it is the question time which will become directly from the quiz settings and I will be providing the answers as A, B, C and D. And let me keep the B as the correct answer and once you are done then you can add save question and add another one. This will be our second question and again here I will give the answers as the same and this time I will mark this option D as the correct answer and let us start our quiz with these two questions only. So as you can see that now we have two questions. Now. Uh, when you are ready with your real-time quiz then you need to have all the students in your class ready with their, with their own devices so what i will essentially show you is two different browser windows side by side wherein i will be having left side with the teacher's view and the right side will be with the student's view so just give me a second So as you can see that uh, now the left side is with the teacher's view and the right side is with the student view. So let me just click this refresh button for this student's view. And let me scroll down. Yes, I can see this test real-time quiz here for the student also. So if a student clicks on this activity, then they need to wait until the teachers join this. So let me go back in the teacher view to this activity here and now you can click on this start quiz button to start the quiz for all the students who have joined. So if I click on this one then you can see that uh, there are no students connected for the teacher view. Now when I will click as join quiz in the students window. 
so here you can see that now one student is connected and the student is waiting for the first questions to be sent now when all the students are connected then you need to click on this next button here and the first question will automatically pop up for the students so as you can see there are only 10 seconds so we need to answer quickly let us see option c and yes we have finished but see uh, the option was incorrect and the feedback is that this question we have got only zero percent correct so the overall feedback is zero percent correct so let us go to the next question now clicking this next icon on the teachers window will show the second question so as you can see now this second question is displayed on the all the browsers so let me choose uh, option d as the answer here so now as you can see that yes a single student has chosen this option d and it is showing as overall it is 50 percent correct which means that out of two questions there was only one question which was correctly answered by the students so this is how you can use the real time quiz and just click the next icon to finish the quiz i hope you like this video please share your feedback in the comments section below and if you have not yet subscribed to our youtube channel please don't forget to click the subscribe button as well as click the bell icon thank you very much for watching